peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes, I hope that you are doing well and that you are feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra, anything you need from me, you can find below in the description section, as well as a link to your free natal chart so that you can tap into all of these beautiful energies that are within you. Beautiful ones, I want to say thank you and hello to my subscribers. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for the donations to the channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Much gratitude to you all, beautiful ones, tribe. Thank you to the new subscribers. Welcome to the dynasty. This is a metaphysical channel where we are tapping in to everything from A to Z. So let's get into this energy, beautiful ones. This is another edition of Venus Nights. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday. Uh -huh. Happy Friday. And whenever this message meets and greets your eyes and ears, please know that it is for you. Remember to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. I'm recording a little later tonight. So we're just going to go ahead and get into this energy. Any oracle or deck that I use within this energy, I will post the link below in case you're interested in these different archetypes. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Let's go. Beautiful ones. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. Anyone sending the evil eye to Libra, may it be returned back to you. A thousand folds. Spirit, cards for Libra's energy. Cards for Libra's energy. Cards for Libra's energy. This is a new deck, mm -hmm. and I don't have the box on handy right now. That's why I will be posting it. I got us another deck. Mm -hmm. More cards. Thank you, Spirit. Crossing. Nevertheless, the Ten of Pentacles is here. Let's go over these energies. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about them. And one off the top. Hmm. All right, beautiful ones. We got a five of swords. I mean, it's something straight off the bat. First of all, your overall energy is the King of Pentacles. Uh-huh, yeah. Here's the King. You got the King of Pentacles here. And we know this is a secure type of love coming from a King of Pentacles. And this is somebody who is about status and creates a secure position when it comes to money. Being your overall energy. But we have the Five of Swords that's here. 
with a seven of swords, an ace of cups, a nine of cups, a king of swords, a ten of pentacles, and the fool with a page of wands. Libra, there's some hot stuff going on in your energy. And that is for sure. Let me move these over a tad bit. Make sure you can all see them. Mm-hmm. Wow. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> yeah, I was in the energy earlier. And the fact that the devil didn't come out this time makes up for this five of swords and this seven of swords. So there's definitely some competition. There's definitely someone in your energy feeling some type of way. Uh-huh. I'm hearing the word competitiveness. Yeah. Yeah, somebody feels like they have to cheat, lie, and steal in order to win when it comes to the Libra energy. And we know it's because of this Ace of Cups. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it's the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Cups. I mean, who doesn't like to drink from these cups, right? Yeah. Ace of Cups with a Nine of Cups. This is you being in the energy of self-sufficient, calling in what it is you've manifested, which is the Ace of Cups love. Mm-hmm. A new path to love. A passion and a purpose that lies behind the passion of love. So this Nine of Cups energy, it has you feeling like you were stepping into the rewards that you worked for, uh-huh. Because you're content with what is going on. Nevertheless, you continue to strive towards more. So this could also mean a new job, a new position in life. Overall, it's an upgrade in this energy as you grow, okay? Some of you may have gotten some raises, but in the area of an abundance of love, it comes with this Ace of Cups, which is about new creativity and again, your purpose and your path. There's a King of Swords who's been showing up a lot in your energy lately. Uh-huh, possible Aquarius energy. But this King of Swords is here and when it comes to love, the King of Swords, he's an intellectual man and he's not romantic. No, the King of Swords is no romancer. Mm-mm, not at all. But they are intellectual. So if you're into some intellectualism, yeah, you can see how that works out for you. But there's a Ten of Pentacles here. And this Ten of Pentacles energy is about being secure with family uh-huh. Your legacy, your dynasty. Hmm. And being wealthy and having an inheritance that you leave behind for those that come after you, right? The fool is here. And this fool is about some new love, possibly. And deepening of a relationship. If you're in a relationship or have already found, I heard you're a fool, but your person, okay? Yeah. Page of Wands is here. And this is about being playful, young at heart, and honest when it comes to a relationships. Relationships that you build. Yeah. Because it's an innocent type of passion. So if we're talking about the money sector, we're talking about a new skill or something that you want to invest in and it comes across as a new energy or thought that you're wanting to tap into so let's go ahead let's get into this energy let's talk about it five of swords for libra spirit five of swords for libra thank you a knight of swords mm. so this knight of swords is letting me know that it's been a shift, okay? Mm-hmm. The Knight of Swords is about shifting things. And when it comes to a relationship, this Five of Swords energy, this is about arguing. And arguing isn't the answer when it comes to this energy. 
However, this is a warning to tell you to be careful. But with this Knight of Swords energy, this is a shift in a relationship. So someone is going through some type of argumentative relationship. And it's been a shift. It's changed it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's changed the energy. Give us the Knight of Swords. Give us the Knight of Swords with this energy spirit. Okay. Wow. It flew somewhere. Here we go. Mmm. It's the strength. It's the strength. So this is a strong change that's happening in a relationship. And there is some type of competition, some type of fighting, quarreling. It's just some drama happening in this energy, right? Mm. And it could be behind a Knight of Wands who is uncommitted, okay? And an affair, okay? Knight of Wands are known to have affairs and they're not a committed energy so we have an overall energy of a shift happening with the energy of a knight of wands but the shift is happening in the energy of a five of swords so this is multiple people that are involved let's talk about the seven of swords energy for you libra mm -hmm. beautiful one seven of swords libra okay a Ten of Wands, yeah, okay. Ten of Wands is here for the Seven of Swords. Now, Seven of Swords is about, of course, an energy who is up to no good, all right? They're up to no good. And this Ten of Wands, this is making it very hard on this partnership. This is about somebody needing some help, some support. Someone wants to compromise in this energy if we're talking about love. However, not being able to compromise has brought on some burdens. Give me the Ten of Wands with the Seven of Swords for Libra. Thank you. A two of wands. Yeah, this is building a new relationship. This is a rewarding relationship. So there's someone in your energy that has some lies or some untold stories that haven't been told to you that need to be told. And it's created a bunch of burdens. And this two of wands energy here is about someone who actually wants to be in a building of a relationship that is a rewarding relationship. However, they're dealing with the energy of the devil. Uh-huh. They have some conflicting issues that are going on. And probably some possible addictions and being obsessed. Uh-huh. They're in a har harmful situation right now. And this is why we see it being chaotic in this energy. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. This card is someone that is in a harmful situation so let's talk about it ace of cups for libra a king of pentacles mm-hmm yeah this is your beginning overall energy so this is having an Ace of Cups energy, a new path to love it with passion and purpose with a King of Pentacles who is secure in love and offers security. Mm, and very passionate about you because they're sitting in the energy of a King of Wands, affectionate and passionate man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us more about the King of Pentacles. It's me. A five of wands. Okay. So there is some type of... Someone needs to let go of their ego. Uh-huh. 
because there's some type of bickering in the energy, okay? Whether it's happening in a physical form or in the subconscious forms. You are their new love and new joy. Why is the five of wands here, spirit? Why is the five of wands here with the king of pentacles? Mm, my, my, my. A high priestess in reverse. So the king of pentacles, possible earth sign, right? Mm -hmm, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo is... Dealing with a high priestess in reverse, okay? Mm-hmm. A high priestess in reverse is not romantic, and she's not grounded. And she takes advantage, okay, of others. Yeah. So this is why the fighting is going on. That answers it all. Your person is dealing with a high priestess in reverse, they don't go in, okay? They don't they don't have the leverage to go deep enough to go in. So this is someone who is in the energy of just being a surface level person that is under judgment, okay? You have the judgment that's here. Spirit, give me the nine of cups. And this is your energy. You're this nine of cups energy, Libra. And that's a problem for someone. That's what I'm seeing. Esprit. Libra. Ace of Swords. That's the truth, okay? So, in this Nine of Cups energy, you are really just living off of the rewards that you create for yourself, right? And you're rising above adversity at the same time and healing. This is the Ace of Swords energy because you're the truth. And that's the only way you can sit in your truth when you are able to rise above the adversities, okay? So people see you rising is what I'm seeing, okay? People see you in your energy of being the truth. And this is why you are seen in this Nine of Pentacles energy. Let's talk about it some more. Give us the King of Swords, okay? King of Swords is the devil. Yeah, I said he kept coming out in your energy. The King of Swords is the devil. Mm-hmm. He is, yeah. Obsessive and possibly an Aquarius placement. Mm-hmm. Harmful situation with this energy, okay? So we're missing this Queen of Swords and we're getting out of their way. Because your overall energy is a Knight of Cups. And this is why this King of Swords is feeling some type of way. Uh-huh. Because they know that this is your overall energy. You're bringing in this love. You don't have this big Ace of Cups here for nothing. It's being called in. Tell us about the devil. Mm-hmm. They're under judgment. Yeah. They're under judgment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Source is dealing with this energy. Mm. So you're protected. And you're moving forward. Okay? You're creating a balance that needs to be created in your life. Let's talk about this Ten of Pentacles. Thank you. Six of Swords. This is you still moving forward. Okay? Okay? You're moving into calmer waters with cooperation. And as far as your money is concerned, your work situation is improving in this energy. While people in your past are under judgment because of their envy and their jealousy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this overall energy is a death. You're moving forward and you put a death to some things. You put a death to this Ten of Swords energy being stabbed in your back. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it some more. Hmm. Give us the Six of Swords. 
Moving forward. Thank you. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm-hmm. Hmm. A High Priestess and the Queen of Wands in reverse. My goodness. My goodness, my goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Libra. Who is the Queen of Wands? It's evidently somebody who doesn't want to see you move forward. Hang hey, man. Yeah. This is somebody in the energy causing some type of suspension, okay? This is you or your partner release control of the ego energy, okay? This is releasing control, the hangman. This queen of wands is in the reverse. And this is someone who is <laughs> this energy in the reverse. She herself is not romantic. She's not loyal. She's a liar and she's never working, okay? This is what you call a Jezebel energy, right? Because mm -hmm. she can't create anything because she doesn't really have a true passion or purpose. She doesn't have anything that she truly loves or anyone that she truly loves. So we see a suspension here. And the suspension is really about someone seeing something from a new perspective in releasing this energy and this queen of wands is in reverse because of it uh-huh she's feeling left out in the cold yeah because she has to trim down on her lifestyle for a while okay this is how they're looking at it okay and this five of pentacles this is giving out she feels as if she gave out what it is she's not getting back because she's expecting something in return mm. let's talk about this queen of wands and reverse some more queen of wands queen of wands so it's clear that we got some a witch in this energy okay because we got this high priestess up here in reverse too a queen of swords Mm. She feels some type of way about the Libra's energy. The Queen of Swords. She feels some type of way about someone who is smart and independent. Yeah. Smart and independent woman is what this card is. Now, with this particular deck, these cards call it what it is. If it's a masculine energy, it'll tell you a man. If it's a feminine energy, it'll tell you a woman. So, beautiful ones. The Queen of Swords is here. And she's an educated powerhouse. Uh-huh. Skilled in the areas in which it is her expertise is in. And someone wanted to create a type of stalemate energy is what I'm getting. Page of Cups is here. Look. Like I said, someone... This Queen of Wands energy is creating a Page of Cups situation to be suspended when it comes to you, your energy of a Queen of Swords. Wow. Mm. And this would be your new love that's coming in. Give me the Fool Spirit for Libra. Give me the Fool in Libra's energy. Thank you. Knight of Wands is here. Uh-huh. This is an uncommitted energy, okay? Who has affairs. And they call themselves enjoyable when it comes to love. So they like to have fun. They like to have a good time. They like for you to enjoy yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what they like. Their overall energy is the world. Mm-hmm. They probably go all around the world with it. However, you closed out a cycle with this energy. Yeah, you did. And I was the fool. You closed out a cycle because you're now in this energy of wanting a mature and fulfilling relationship, okay? That's attached to successful goals and possible travel as well. Mm-hmm. This energy could be watching you on the internet if you are on a social platform. Let's talk about it some more. 
give us this energy of the high priestess in reverse. High priestess in reverse for Libra. Mm, okay. We got two that came out. They're crossing, but it's the sun with the two of pentacles. So this high priestess in reverse, there's been something a light enlightened when it comes to some juggling, okay? So when we're talking about a love, this is a happy relationship and a bright future. But it comes out with the two of pentacles. This is shared resources and working with a love partner. Mm-hmm. When it comes to a high priestess in reverse, the truth has come out when it comes to who this high priestess has possibly been sharing herself and other things with, as well as I see this energy being exposed. Yeah. When it comes to a collaboration, this two of Pentacles also means juggling projects in a collaboration. So it's some type of collaboration between this queen of wands in reverse and a high priestess, okay? In the reverse, six of cups. This is involving the energy from your past. Mm-hmm. And a possible reunion. So this could be a reunion with you and your person and these two energies are involved in this energy. Tell us more about this High Priestess in Reverse. Who is the High Priestess in Reverse? High Priestess in Reverse Spirit for Libra's energy. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Mmm. Mmm. Somebody's wish fulfillment. So the truth came out about someone's wish fulfillment. And this, this is why this high priestess is in reverse. Somebody wants to walk away from this high priestess in reverse. Eight of cups. All right. So this energy knows about this juggling energy with this two of pentacles. All right. And the sun is here. The truth is out about it. And a nine of pentacles is why this energy is feeling some type of way. And they're in the reverse, okay? Because this is content without a partner. That's what a nine of pentacles energy is. Let me show you this card. Uh-huh. This is someone who is content without a partner. But here's the truth is that someone is walking away from this energy of a high priestess because they have a greater passion at Ace of Wands energy for Nine of Pentacles energy. The Ace of Swords is here. This is the truth. Tell us more truth, spirit. Thank you. We got three cards that came out and this is the truth, okay? It's the Four of Cups. This is someone who doesn't want to let go and they're going to hold on. That someone is an emperor energy, okay? Who is stable and wants to have a mature love with loyalty, okay? And they're successful in their business and legal matters, all right? This Four of Cups is all about, you know, withdrawing your affections, okay? And attached to money and security. So this person has withdrew his affections from a high priestess in reverse and is focused on a nine of pentacles energy because the three of pentacles is here with it. An emperor who wants to collaborate. They stay positive at work through the differences as well. This is someone who wants to work out a mature relationship. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to money, it's good at your work and people notice like your craft, how good you are at it. All right. So what I'm seeing is there is an energy that wants to come towards you. All right. With 
this Knight of Swords energy, okay? Someone who is assertive, they want to make changes in their lives. They want to come towards you with this Four of Cups energy. And this is really about holding on to those material possessions around you. They're in this energy now because they're looking to leave a high priestess in reverse because they found out about a Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Uh-huh. And a Queen of Swords energy. This is your energy. This is you being content. Still calling in what it is that's already yours because the universe is going to send it to you anyway. But this Queen of Swords is here because you have created boundaries when it comes to this Two of Pentacles energy, right? Three of Wands is here, overall energy. This is about being in the energy of a committed engagement and a celebration. This is expansion in the energy. Mm. Let's talk about it some more. I split the deck and it's the Hierophant here. Yeah, the Hierophant here. And this is about traditional thinking about relationships and how relationships are. And even when it comes to the money aspect, it's traditional ideals and cultural cooperations and corporations, right? Mm. So we have someone from the past that's under judgment because they're the devil in your energy and they're jealous, okay? They're jealous of new love that's coming in. And then on your person's end, there's the same energy of jealousy, okay? So I'm looking at this Queen of Wands who is in reverse, who is creating a stalemate energy. And this is a possible collaboration with the, these two energies, if not just the two separate energies, one from your side and one from their side. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this energy of a high priestess in reverse is from your new person side that's trying to come in and your old person side is still lurking, irking, and jerking in your energy because they're jealous. They're green with, e with envy and their partner is in a devil energy of jealousy. So she's picking up on this energy because she's also being ignored. And your boundaries are up when it comes to both these energies from the past. So the Knight of Wands, give us the Knight of Wands for Libra. Knight of Wands for Libra. Mm, an Ace of Wands. Whoa, that's a whole lot of passion with a temperance energy, okay? That's a whole lot of fire. Knight of Wands with an Ace of Wands. This is new joy, love, and creativity, okay? So Temperance Angel is here. This is, it heals the rift and avoids ego. So there's a healing that's happening in your energy with this new passionate love that's coming in. Let me show this card. Mm -hmm. And it's someone you'd be able to cooperate with and have some peace in the workplace if you work with your partner. If this is a business love, workship, right? Mm. Tell us more about the Ace of Wands. Tell us about the Ace of Wands for Libra. Oh, that's way too many. Spirit, my card, Ace of Wands for Libra. It's me. The lovers, yeah. It's definitely that. Mm-hmm, a partnership, mutual caring and attraction and combined resources. This is how you build a dynasty. Mm-hmm, wow. Overall energy is a page of cups, yeah. This is a new love, a sweet love, a, a timid love and a new way to create a new venture between the both of you. Tell us about the Page of Wands, Spirit. Something playful about this relationship. Thank you. Five of Cups, wow. 
Yeah, somebody is in regret, okay? And they're having some remorse in your energy. Also some resentment. And they're not fulfilled when it comes to the money department either, okay? Don't throw good money after bad money. That's a quote. Mm. Let's talk about it. Five of Cups, Spirit, and Libra's Energy. Five of Cups. Thank you. A Queen of Cups. Wow. Somebody's in regret for a Queen of Cups. Someone who was kind and a romantic woman. Yeah. It could be an age difference. If you see this woman is older in age, but she's a Queen of Cups and this is a kind of rom kind and romantic type of love, okay? Someone who has experienced romance, and this love has been sent. This is the divine love that Hierophant is here, okay? With this Queen of Cups as her overall energy. Mm. Somebody's in remorse about this Queen of Cups energy, who is also a Nine of Pentacles energy. Spirit, give me the strength up here. When it comes to this Knight of Swords, who is this? Strength with the Knight of Swords, Spirit. Who is this energy? For Libra. Mm, a death is here. And this is someone who is changing old patterns. And it's definitely your new love because the Page of Cups is here, okay? Let's talk about it. Why is the death here? The death to whom, Spirit? Okay, we got a flip card. Two flip cards. I didn't see when he's flipped, but it's the justice and the tower. With the death, someone, this night, this night of swords energy, this assertive energy that wants to make a lot of big changes fast, they're going through a major tower right now. Uh-huh. They have to stop these old habits and these old ways regarding how they love. And they're going through some justice and they're seeking balance and some fairness right now. Mm. Yeah, it's been a change in their financial status as well. And possibly they could be coming to some type of settlement to be reached, uh-huh when it comes to their money sector. But there's a lot of changes in this person's energy and they could possibly be rewarded at the end. Mm. There's a Knight of Pentacles who is a stable and loyal partner. However, they're unhappy they're feeling like they don't have any hope for the future right now. Tell us more, Spirit. Give us this Queen of Cups. Give us the Queen of Cups for Libra's energy. Tell us more. Because it's grief and loss. These two cards came out. Crossing. Yeah. This Queen of Cups energy... Is going in because it's the Four of Swords, all right? This is more so of some me time, some much needed me time. This is time for self and Nine of Swords energy. This is feeling lonely, even rejected, okay? Undervalued. So Libra, you could have felt a sense of rejection or even lonely at some point. But now we see how the tables have turned because it's this energy who is now in a five of cups who feels grief and regret when it comes to having a relationship with you. Mm. Tell us about this justice up here with the Knight of Swords. Tell us about the justice. Mm, it came out in reverse. A eight of pentacles, somebody who feels like they can't mm. 
Yeah, this Eight of Pentacles is someone who isn't, their business might not be doing so well. Okay? It came out in reverse. And their love life isn't doing well, and it's an immature love. So this is why balance is happening in this energy. This energy is a page of swords. They watch you, okay? And they operate from an immature energy. They have an immature relationship style, okay? And this is why we see everything being torn down with this energy. This energy is going through a rebirth. This energy could be younger than you. Eight of Pentacles, Spirit in Reverse. Balance is being brought here with the Temperance Angel. And I'm being told that the angels are guiding this change, this rebirth to your new person. For them to walk away from it all with this Eight of Cups being here. Yeah. This is walking away from love. Are a project, okay? So whatever it is they once loved, they're having the strength to walk away from it. And when it comes to money, this Eight of Cups says, cut your losses and conserve. Yeah, cut your losses and find out ways how you can cut back in order to go for it. Yeah, this is somebody going through a whole total renewal is what I'm hearing, okay? Tell us about the temperance. Tell us about the temperance. Mm. Too many. I'll take this one that landed on top of the cards. They're in hermit energy, okay? Possible Virgo energy. Page of Cups is here. It's definitely a new love. Show your face, new love. Who's the hermit? They're watching you. Page of Swords. They watch you in this immature energy. Who's the Page of Swords spirit? Someone you're destined to be with. This is your Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And this is improvements with relationships as well. So what you can expect in the future is an improvement with this energy. Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune. Who's on the Wheel of Fortune, Spirit? Mm, you're closing out a cycle on this energy, in this energy. Yeah, the world is here. This is a mature and fulfilling relationship, okay? So you're not settling for anything less than that because you're in this overall energy of an empress, okay? You're not settling, so you close out a cycle while this energy works on what it is they need to get themselves together with, okay? They have a high priestess in reverse in their energy, and it's some lying going on in the energy, and the Ten of Wands, okay? So they're dealing with a lot of burdens with the Two of Wands, wanting to move forward. Spirit, who wants to move forward? Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords. They're stuck in their head about moving forward. Because remember, they're stuck. The Six of Swords energy. They can't go anywhere. They feel they have no choice. They feel trapped in this energy. And they also have a fear of change. They feel like their hands are tied. Who is this Eight of Swords energy? Thank you. It's a page of cups. Possible water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. They're timid when it comes to love. This person is afraid to love. 4414 on the timer. 4414 on the timer. And this is the Ace of Pentacles. If they're afraid to love, then this could be somebody that you met through work, you met through the internet, a practical place, okay? Or that, depending on where you are in this timeline, beautiful ones, that you'll meet 
in the community, somewhere practical, okay? Because we do have the world here. The cycle is closed out. The world also represents the world wide web as well. Mm. Give me the page of cups. Page of cups. Thank you. A knight of cups energy. Yeah, this person loves you. This is a love message that they want to send to you. And regarding, you know, the chochos, the money, the dinero. Yeah, they like to earn what they spend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tell us more. They're heartbroken, okay? And it's a bunch of quarreling going on in their energy. It's no union worth saving. That's what this card says. And when it comes to money, they're losing. They don't have any trust and they're unhappy. They're not even happy in a job that they love because of who it is that they're tied to, who it is that they're linked to. Tell us more about the Knight of Cups. Thank you. Ace of Pentacles. They want a new beginning. You can meet this energy through your work, okay? Again, this is a practical energy, a practical person. But nevertheless, this is an upgrade in prosperity and abundance. More profits coming in and possible new business ventures, okay? They're holding on to this energy. Where does this Ace of Pentacles come in? Who's connected to this Ace of Pentacles for Libra? Who's connected to the Ace of Pentacles for Libra? Wow. Oh, look, you got one that came out and fell and one that flipped for you. So it's a magician that's in your energy. They want to work their resources. They have a strong spiritual connection with you. And they do want the Ten of Cups, okay? This is a spiritual connection. Wow. Mm-hmm. And you guys do a lot of telepathic communication together. You're tapped into your intuition, the both of you. And this love is going to be a joyful love. Once it comes together, it's... Uh, it's going to be a true relationship. Uh-huh. Blissfulness, I hear. Spirit, give us the magician. Give us the magician in Libra's energy. The magician in Libra's energy. A king of cups. Possible cancer energy. You got a king of cups, okay? Water sign in your energy. Who is the magician who is going through a major, major rebirth? I mean, <laughs> I can't make it up. Their overall energy is the hierophant. Yeah, the universe is changing this energy. They're changing this energy. Wow. Mm, this is a powerful read. I split the deck. They're changing this energy for the Empress. They are. Mm. Let's go ahead and tap into some true emotions before closing out, beautiful ones. Yeah, this beautiful Venus night. You know we're going to tap into this love. But my, my, what a love story tonight. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button, share, subscribe, beautiful ones. It helps with the algorithm so that others can know about the dynasty as well as we grow this channel. Uh-huh. Metaphysical channel where we're tapped in. I mean, my goodness. Spirit, give us cards for Libra. What's the true emotions for Libra? True emotions for Libra. What's going on? True emotions for Libra. Happy Friday. Happy Venus nights. If this catches you on a Saturday, a Sunday, a Monday, however, please know that this message is for you. You do not have to be a Libra 
to join the dynasty. Uh-huh. You just got to have a little bit of love in your heart. Uh-huh. And I'm sure you do. Beautiful ones. So you wouldn't be here looking for a Libra. Uh -huh. That's for my cross watchers. Beautiful ones. Cards for Libras. Give me the energies for Libra. Energies for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Esprit. Mm. Somebody's a thug. Uh huh. Shorty wanna be. Said he wanna be. Shorty wanna be a thug. What else, Spirit? Okay. Someone is just tripping off of you. Memories. Memories. Whoa. Yeah, memories. Now, I don't read these in reverse. Mm. But this is sweet talk, okay? It came out in reverse. So somebody's not sweet talking you anymore. Or you're not allowing that sweet talk to happen. Okay? Possible fake pregnancy, fake news, DNA tests required energy as an overall energy. What else for Libra? Give us more for Libra. Thank you. This flipped. Ashamed. Somebody is guilty and embarrassed and in the wrong. They know it. More cards for Libra. Libra's energy. Okay. Somebody's shady in this energy. Bunch of shady business going on. Libra, you got two feminine energies hating on you, okay? And for my masculines, this is crossing, but moving on, letting go, loving you, okay? Love you, Libra. Move on, let it go. And it seems like that's what you're doing in this energy. But if this is my masculine, you have two women, that are bent out of shape over you and possibly some masculine energies that feel some type of way about it as well, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Give me more, Spirit. All right. Feeling like shit. Somebody feels like shit right now, okay? They do. More cards. Libra's energy. More confirmation for Libra. Massive regrets. My goodness, it's just one big pity party. What else, Spirit? What else? This week. Spell. Love spell. Yeah, I mean, we got two whole witches, okay? A queen of wands in reverse and a high priestess in reverse. Come on now. Legal matters are here as well. Somebody could be going through a divorce, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic tickets. You name it, it's here, okay? What else is going on in this energy spirit for Libra? Mm. GPS, somebody's being tracked, okay? Uh-huh. Now, when we talk about GPS, GPS is also on your phone as well. So, make sure you're not sharing locations, beautiful ones. I just thought I'd put that out there. More? It's me. workplace affair okay somebody could possibly be getting it on at work uh-huh let's talk about it some more it's in the energy it could be your person or one of your person's persons okay yeah because i picked up on that energy with this king of cups and who it is they're involved with they're sleeping around I love you and spiritual gifts is here, okay? Yeah. 
So someone wants to tell you, I love you. And someone could be developing their spiritual gifts. And this I love you has a ring, okay? So this love runs deep. And overall energy is, they're fucked up over you when it's all said and done. Let's pull some more energies. More cards for Libra. What else does Libra need to know? Okay. The next five is what you need to know. Okay, beautiful ones. Someone is psycho and it's your crazy ex obsessing and won't let go. We already saw that in the energy. Uh-huh. Get over it. Your queen bee, secure, confident, boss bitch energy, career focus. For my masculines, you bossy. Uh-huh. True colors. People's true colors are being shown in this energy on both sides. Now, remember to take what is yours and leave what is not. But the true colors are being seen. Spiritual, chaos, eagle death, downward word spiral, and spiritual awakening. We got that energy with your King of Cups energy. Uh-huh. Wow. And one more. Getting readings. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we knew that with a King of Wands and a High Priestess in reverse. Somebody's using divination. Getting readings on you. Uh-huh. Trying to see what's going on in your energy. And it's a bunch of secrets that have yet to be exposed. I mean, we peel back layers of them on a regular. I split the deck. Someone feels trapped. And we already seen that in the energy. There's a bunch of trapped energy that is here. And before we close out, I'm going to go ahead and pull some gentle reminders for you beautiful ones, okay? These are reminders for you as we go into this weekend. Uh-huh. Yeah. As we go into this weekend. Continue to relax in this energy, okay? Yeah. Continue to relax in this energy. We are approaching April. And it's a bunch of shifts that are happening. A bunch of shifts. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. And we'll close out. I will list all the cards used down in the description. Thank you. Woo, okay. We're going to pull three of these. What does Libra need to know? What does Libra need to know? Thank you. What else? What else? Thank you. All right. Libra, this is what Spirit wants you to know. Wow, you have five that came out. I'm going to read them because it's needed. Uh-huh. Spirit says, your version of balance will look different than someone else's. Okay? So do what it is that balances you out. What works for someone else may not work for you, Libra. Okay? Okay? We're all Libra energies, but we have different placements that affect these different gifts, abilities, strengths. Do what works for you, Libra. That's how you create your internal balance. You're on your internal scale. Fixating on the past won't help you stay in the present. I like that one. And let it flow. Simply put, let it flow. I love when this card comes out for you all. It always comes out for you, no matter what deck. Let it flow. Sometimes all we can do is try to allow the unknown to unfold on its own. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just let it flow. And vulnerability still requires boundaries. 
And this is why you show up as this queen of swords energy, beautiful ones. Yeah, vulnerability still requires boundaries. And this is your Friday night message. Happy Venus nights, beautiful ones. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love.